right, so today we're going to talk about our third uh, band from Conan. Um, if you didn't see our first two videos, the uh, first band was we were banned by uh, the actual server company. And what we did was we implored uh, constrictor grief, which means we suffocated the server. We uh, walled off the desert so new players could not um, play the game. They would log in and hit the wall, and then they they would die. They couldn't even get into the game. And then we guarded the wall uh, to make sure that uh, you know no one breached the wall. So that was constrictor grief. We got uh, we got banned. By, uh, and there's a video on that. G Portal banned us. The second band was uh, from Funcom. Actually, Fun the game company actually banned us from Steam. And what happened on that was we uh, we employed uh, Constrictor Grief again, but just on the portals. We allowed new players to come in. We did not. Uh, no, we did build a wall on that one at the very end. Yeah, we did. At the very end, we did build the wall, but. 99% of the game, we just uh, constricted all the ports. We took, we took, I think, four or five, four of the five ports away from the GIMP so they couldn't teleport around. And um, and uh, we destroyed everybody and went after the biggest crews. And we have a video on that. And that's uh, the second band, which was Funcom. The third band today uh, that I just got was I wanted to employ. Bare nuts grief, and what bare nuts grief is is that um, you only use stone tools and you run completely bare nuts naked, and all you do when you die or whatever is you pick up the like it shows here on the screen five branches, five stone, and you make a stone pick, and then five branches and five stone, you make a stone hatchet, and what you do is you uh, hit rocks until your stone pick breaks. And then you hit the button, and it repairs it because you have a tremendous amount of stone. You probably got a thousand stone on you at all times. And then you switch to the hatchet, hit trees until that breaks, and you hit the button, and then you switch back, do it again on the stone pick. You do that nonstop. You avoid every conflict known to man. You run into the water. You never fight. You never give them one satisfaction of a battle or anything. that they, That's what they want to do. And um, you'll see, I'm going to show it in the video, um, that you just wall the entire server off to where they can't even ride their horses anymore. They, they have to climb wherever they go, but they can still go, like, um, to the un unnamed city or un whatever. If they want to go in there, they can go in there. We don't put the, uh, the barbed wire up. We just let them. They have to climb, like, you know, six fucking walls to get in. And they don't want to do that because they got a horse and they got a, uh, they got a, like a, you know, a thrall in tow or whatever. So they're always running around doing shit like that. And they hate to get off their horses. So that's what you do. So anyway, to back up, just to give you kind of an overview of what this video is going to be about. Because you're not really going to understand if you've never played the game. But these fucking gimps, they're so dog shit um, that you look for three things on a server. So there's some recon grief that goes into this, first thing. Obviously, you have to buy another account. So I had to buy another account because my other two were terminated. So you buy the game, and then the first thing you look for is server population. So that needs to be as close to 40, 40 as you can get. So all official servers can hold 40, 40. So, so if they have like 35, something like that, that's it. That's in contention. So you go in, you log into that, you create a character, and you don't, you don't create it with Hog in the name because they'll instantly click your name and you'll be terminated because of the other two times we were terminated. So that's the only thing that's covert about it. Everything else is overt, bare nuts grief. But the covert part is you go in with no Hog in the name, and you just grief the fuck out of them nonstop. And um, so the first thing is population. The second thing is you go in, you just stand in the desert, and you die over and over just standing there for anywhere from five minutes to an hour. And all you're doing when you're standing there is recon. You're writing everything down. So you immediately, okay, and, um, the king shitbag, he will always, the cockroach, the main king cockroach gimp, he will always be talking in chat, okay, on every server. So you instantly can 
he he's easy to identify because he's such a cockroach gimp. He just stands out. He's about a half flat tire taller than everyone else. You know what I mean? That's what you're looking for. He's still a fucking flat tire, but I mean he's taller than you know just a normal tire. Then he has a flat tire on top. He's just a little taller, so they elevate him up because he's you know he's a cockroach gimp. So you look for that guy. Second thing you do is you look that guy's name up, and you see how many hours he has. And the reason you're doing that is you want to you don't you want to take the most invested shit back down that you can, right? Because you you want it to be you know you want it to you want it to be worth your time. I mean, and so for me the minimum is for the, this third uh, third uh, termination that I knew I was going to get. So like on June 9th or 10th or 8th or something like that, I bought a new account. I went in. This one guy was talking nonstop on the recon grief. And I saw him talking. I looked him up. He had 8,000 hours. 8,000 hours. So that motherfucker immediately, he, the second prerequisite of 1,500 hours, crushes it. So, okay, now I know this guy. This guy needs to be fucking griefed out of his fucking mind. And he'll be so easy to grief. And you'll see in the video, I have all the fucking shit. The guy talks. You know, they always talk in the beginning. I'll go into that, you know. I have 8,000 hours. I'm not going anywhere. They're the first ones to fucking eat back. So, the third is a little, it, it's kind of like a part A and part B. So, the A is, what happens is, is you can only have, uh, you can only have a 10-man crew in this game. Or they call it a clan. So, the way that they get around this, the cockroach gimp, is they'll make like eight five man clans but they're all in the same clan so when a new player comes in and he starts talking shit because even a cockroach gimp i mean if you step on his nuts enough he's going to get pissed you know what i mean and then he's going to be like hey fuck you i'm going to fucking tear the server down all that so they just immediately when they a new player comes in if they don't they talk to him right because they're all in the same clan but the new gimp, he doesn't know that. I mean, he goes to different buildings, he sees eight different clan names, but he doesn't realize that the cockroach will always, the gimp, he will always find a way to make it a PvE experience because they don't want a comp, they don't want any conflict. In a PvP game, it's the always remember, in a PvP game, there's never any PvP. They always make sure that they take the PvP out. So the first thing they do is they split up and they just make it one big conglomerate gimp gimp shitter. Okay, so this guy, he starts talking shit to whatever, or he bombs someone, he tries to play the game the right way, and then 45 fucking gimps from eight guilds or clans or whatever come to his building, blow him up. And he's only been there like two, three days, so he's got nothing, he can't fight. So he's got two, dis two choices to make. One, he can leave, which is what they want, or two, they can, he can join them, which is what they really want, so that they can have 41 gimps in eight different clans, right? And then part B is, now this is very, very hard to find. <laughs> this one right here. If all the entire server population not only props up the flat tire a little bit higher than all the other tires, but also feeds them, like supplies and resources and, hey, can I help you with this? Or, hey, right? And then that guy... That absolute shitbag divvies up responsibilities to the server. That that's so. I mean, that's so hard to find, and I found it, and that's what happened in this server. So this fucking guy, when I started laying down sandstone everywhere, he immediately bom he bombed every single day, and that's what I want him to do. I want him to because he does not want to do that. He does. He knows it's sandstone. And I'm purposely doing sandstone because he knows that the return on investment is never in his favor. But in the beginning, he's so easy to manipulate that he, his ego, right? He's got a little bit of an ego since he's a flat tire above everybody else. He will bomb. Now, depending on now an 8,000 hour guy, he will bomb. He will bomb probably two weeks. So the two, three things that you need as a griefer... In a bare nuts griefer environment, which this is bare nuts grief, right? Stone tools only, naked. 
stealing food to survive from them, from the gimps. And here's the third thing that you must have. All right, the first, the first two things any shitbag can get: a stone fucking, a stone fucking pick and a stone fucking hatchet. Any fucking bag of shit could, you know, whatever. But you gotta have the tenacity. You gotta have. If you're looking at an eight thousand hour ship bag, I mean, he's dug into that fucking server, right? Eight thousand hours, eight thousand reasons to not fucking break to me and my stone tools, right? But he knows he's gonna lose. But eight thousand hours, dude, he's gonna fight me. This guy ended up fighting me for thirty days. Thirty fucking days, he blew shit up, and then at the end, he he said, "Hey guys, you know." I've decided I'm going to leave the server and this and that, right? But in the beginning, this guy's, you know, I'm not leaving and you just got stone tools and all that fucking shit. And I knew I was in. So I had to I had to spend, and you'll see on my Steam account, that brand new account I just bought, right, last month, 440 hours to destroy a guy that had been on the server for 8,000 hours. 8,000 thousand hours and the guy had lower tier ship bags that he was divvying up workload to and the lowest guy had 3600 hours there were other guys had 5000 hours he's like fucking five six guys with 5000 hours and him with 8000 so you got to have the stone pick the stone hatchet you got to be willing to invest 440 hours and I mean non-stop hitting rocks, non-stop as they destroy shit. You got to put it right back because that really just snaps their fucking back. They wake up the next day, everything's back. And it's got to be, everything's got to be back. Every fucking thing has got, to, anything they took down, you got to put it back. Now, it takes some dedication. Also, you got to, right? And this is next level grief. And when you're in bare nut zone, I mean, you are in a totally different wastelander grief mentality only few of my guys you know it's like these fucking navy seals man one's a sniper they're all pretty good shot but then there's one sniper so you gotta be really specialized in the field of grief to take this on bear nuts is fucking the most intensive grief that there is because you have nothing and you must replace everything and you don't really have the 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 ability to replace resources as quick as they blow them up because your fucking pick only when you hit a fucking rock it gives you six or eight stone we're talking about i laid uh i'd say twenty thousand foundations that's like that's like two million stone at six rocks a throw so two million fucking stones you you better have you better be fucking committed to the fucking mission and, and I am. I mean, I got a defect. There's no fucking way I'm not going to do it. So just to give you an idea, there's extra steps you got to take. You got to go and you got to make a spreadsheet. All different clans play at all different times. So I'm adjusting my sleep schedule to go and fucking grief the fuck out of them. So when they wake up, they're like, God damn, does this guy sleep? I mean, I went to bed. Everything was fine. I wake up. My fucking building is surrounded by by sandstone, I gotta crawl out of my fucking building every day, or I gotta bomb it all, and that's not what I wanted to do, and then once I get you in that, once I get you in that cycle, it's a fucking wrap, I mean, it's, you're done, you're fucking done, there's nothing you could do, and then you, they start, they'll come to me, and hey, can we negotiate, can we talk, well, you can't, you can't negotiate with me, because I'm a guy standing there with bare, with my nuts are literally out, and I have fucking stone tools in my hand, what, what can you give me, what, you have, Things that I, st I would go and steal all their mounts and shit that took them 10 hours to get and all that. And I would just throw them on the ground and let, the, let them delete. They're of no use to me. Stone tools, that's it. Kill me, I don't give a fuck. I fucking, I appear in the desert. I'm down a stone pick and a stone fucking hatchet. 10 fucking stone that I can pick up with my hands on the ground. And, uh, and 10 branches that I pick up with my hands and I'm back in business. And... So anyway, just give you this one story. This one crew, they had five guys, and they were fucking dedicated. These guys, these guys were hard to grief. Okay, so I would come over the mountain. You'll see it in the video, 
right right in the beginning it was when i'm kneeled down and i'm looking at the guy's building that's the building that i fucking completely enclosed but it took me it took me three fucking days and i had to go to bed alter my sleep that's what i was saying alter my sleep pattern right my schedule because i had to normally i get up at like five in the morning or whatever so i had to go to bed and i had to get up at 3 30 in the morning because that's when these guys got offline and sometimes they didn't get off till 4 30 so i'd get on about 3 30 in the morning i'd climb over the mountain i would fucking sneak up and i'd fucking be up in a tree and just watching them and make sure they're not down there and then you could take a fucking uh a repair hammer go down and touch their building and see how long it's been since they've been on um, and that's another thing. Every fucking stone you see in this video, it's going to take 336 hours for it to disappear. 336 hours for it to decay because the summer decay timer, which is the exact reason why I wanted to grief them with bare nuts, the bare nuts grief strategy, because 336 hours, every stone I put down, you fucking lose. There's no fucking way you're going to lose anyway. It doesn't matter if it was. If it was three hours, but 336 hours, <laughs> oh man, every fucking stone I put down is 14 days. You got to look at that shit if you want to try to wait it out. And then every time I touch it with my big toe, it fucking reactivates for 336 hours. And believe me, every single fucking thing is linked. So if I go to a zone, I touch one stone, all of it is activated for 336 hours. One big toe, I just touch it like that. I look, oh whole zone we're talking miles miles of sandstone activated one one touch on my big toe 336 hours you're fucked again you go up to it you hit it with your repair hammer just to see pray to fucking Allah that I didn't log in and you see that I was just there like 20 seconds ago you're fucked 336 hours so anyway I would go down this thing I would see if they would chase me around I would lay sandstone as they were chasing me around Every, remember, every stone, 336 hours. So I'm just laying sandstone. I don't give a fuck if I die. I didn't die. But, I mean, if, I didn't even give a fuck. So I'm climbing up and down all around on the walls and shit, laying it down. The next, finally, they start spreading sandstone around, staggering it around. And it's all, like, 59 minutes because it's not linked with anything. So I have to wait for three fucking days, go around hundreds of sandstone that's just peppered all over the fucking the grass i gotta run around and look at each one and then decay delete each one right when the timer's up so i'm hiding for hours and hours and hours and hours a day just monitoring and writing down every single sandstone they laid so that i know which one to go to exactly to delete it and then i have to replace it instantly and then I got one there for an hour. And then they see it, but they're so fucking stupid, I put it exactly in the same spot. They think it's still theirs because they're fucking dumb. And they're complacent. And, I mean, that's what a gimp... That's why I can do what I do because they're... Every gimp is a fucking lazy fuck. And uh, everyone... Every one of the gimps in any clan on the server wants to do whatever they wanted to do when they logged in. So... That, I mean, you, you win right there instantly. Because he'll, he'll lay a few down and think he's doing something and shit, but then he'll forget about it, you know what I mean? But I'm not forgetting shit. I'm writing it all down. Because my job is to grief the fuck out of him. His job is to fuck off and go catch a monkey or whatever. My job is to completely enclose his fucking building so he has to climb out of it. And then I just just spread it from there. It's just absolute fucking... It's, it's diarrhea, man. It's just a diarrhea, just explosion, tsunami of diarrhea on the fucking server, and you'll see it. But anyway, I just wanted to give you an overview, and I know it went a little long, like fucking 18 minutes. But you got to, I mean, if, if an average motherfucker comes and sees what we're doing, they're like, what, what the fuck is this? This is, uh, this doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't understand. He's just, he's naked. He's putting stone down. But just know, every one of those stones I put down, they have a problem with it. And every single day for 29 days, they bombed my shit. And I had to replace it every fucking day until their backs broke and then the 8,000 guy left. And you'll see that in the chat. Where I say, because my guy's name just uh, is Dump Soap, and Weesh's name is Dump Soup. And you'll see that on mine, Dump Soap, he says he's going to voluntarily leave, right? He decided to fucking just out of the blue, he just decides to leave. And I told him, if you leave, you lose. 
and it just absolutely shattered his skull. And then he said a bunch of shit, crying and all that, and chat, and all his little fucking faggot buddies were all, you know, happy dicking. And, but they all knew the truth. The ones that knew the truth were quiet as fuck. They knew that I had griefed the fuck out of the server. If I make 8,000, 8,000 hour, can't believe. And, and then I changed my name I, at the end when he said, okay, I'm leaving and fuck you and all that. And at the end I said, so easily broken. And then I changed the guild, the clan name to so easily broken. So he saw that for the rest of the night and then he pulled his bracelet off and he quit. He backed off the server and never to return. And then, uh, I got lucky because he, I mean, I didn't plan this obviously, but he broke about four hours before I got terminated, which is a nice, I mean, the griefer gods sometimes, I mean, they fucking, sometimes they, they, can, they, they fucking bless, they bless you when you do this amount of grief, you know what I mean? I guess, I don't know, I just got lucky, but, so anyway, just know when he says he's leaving, four hours later, I got terminated, so, it worked out, so anyway, I was uh, another inside the mind of a gimp. Until next time, Hawk for life.